Hello, my name is Ashley. Today I'm going to show you, teach you Armenian needle lace, which I had a lot of channels over there that I was teaching and I would love to continue back again because people would love to learn more and more. So today uh, I'm going to do the honeycomb for you, which is this is the design over here. I've done it and I would like you to know it to see what am I going to do. This is the design and all I am using is it's a needle and thread that uh, I use. If you like to know what I use, the needle and thread, you go and click on the link. It's in description. If you are interested to get it, just follow up and you're going to learn very easy way. Now, uh, okay, we're going to start again from Armenian needle lace. We're going to start from the ones from existing one and uh, how to start is you take the thread and you put this is the end of it the the design we put the take we take the thread and we put in behind wherever the end is and you go through the little last hole and you twist always remember like i said the thread should be always on top and goes under and you pull it while you're pulling it you see this little nuts that this front thread, which is the end of it, that it started, we're going to go through. And you see it, it's inside of the nuts. We pull it. We secure this. And then you put this behind. Sometimes you can, this one, which it doesn't come out or rip out, but if you want to secure it more, you the the one that we had it, we put it next to the, we start from the new seeds now. We put it in, we keep this in our hands with the, the next to the thread, with this thread, and we go under and we pull it and we make the nuts. Now it's secure. So like I told you, I'm going to make the beehive. So first we're going to start to do the regular stitches now when we work with cotton sometimes because it has a lot of thread it's not that it's hard but sometimes it kind of thicker so you have to work with your pulling and fixing it and whatever so you always like i said this part it should be the top and the back part goes under again let me do it a few more time you just go from the seeds the top will keep it on let me push this away and the back part goes under from under to out there you go again we go from the seeds the thread always stays on top and the back part the back needle of the part goes from under to top you will see this design we're gonna make a few more so you will know how it goes it's really nice beautiful lace work it is try it it's not hard you will succeed as long as you follow to the steps again all right now i have to go all around i'm gonna do a few more stitches and then i will do it and i will come to the end of it because it's gonna take time I hope you can see all the detail over here. Let me bring it closer for you so you can see. You go from the seeds, you twist it, and you will pull it. Sometimes you, you can pull it with your needle instant to do with hands, but my hands is used to it. I pull it always with my finger like this. You don't have to do that. You can put the needle and pull it. Again, from the seeds, the thread is always on top. This goes under, and you can Pull it and make sure that almost every one of them is even you don't have to make it big if you make it big it will look terrible like you cannot keep loose like this it has to be from here to here the distance and if you do tight if you go too close or too tight like this then you won't have step for second stages it doesn't work and then your tra your needle point is gonna start to close up so you need to make sure everything is 
it's balanced the same length and always when you pull your thread I always repeat this the same thing when you pull it when you are closer to tighten it up make sure you hold tight and you pull it this way all right so now I'm gonna go all around until to the end I will be back with you for the next step let me do a couple more steps there you go so I'm sure you got the idea and look how beautiful designs it makes so this is the honeycomb that I showed you this is the one we're doing now this is the style we're gonna do so I'm gonna go around because it's gonna take time and you do it too and then we're gonna continue the top part all right all right we are on the last one almost and here we are the last one we will do again like I said thread is on on top and this is from the bottom make sure always that the back part don't let it come too close because when you pull it it's gonna come out so make sure that it has a little bit half of the space at least and then you go under you do this and here it is this is the thread that we started it goes in the back and here we are so this is the last now we're gonna do the beehive comb the top part so you start from the big seed big hole and this time the back part goes on top when you are gonna join them like see from here to here we're gonna join from here to here it's gonna be joined so we're gonna do put the needle and you go over just like this you make it blind I always say blind that's the good words like to tighten it up that's what it means blind to tighten it up now you have to do three little seeds there is one there is another two there is another three and then now we have to go to the second part we have to do is we're gonna blind it so what do you do you put the thread on top always and the back part goes over and you tighten it up because bigger it gets the the needle point it might start to be wavy so when we are tightening up the needle lace it stays flat and nice and round unless you want to make it bigger and let it hang from the table after it gets bigger you want to make it looser so now we continue we put the needle always this goes on top and goes under and we have to have a three seeds try to make it more or less the same shape not too big not too small sometimes if you want you can even pull it with your needle to show it but this is doesn't matter because it's gonna like look um, like the way you see the design small seeds we need so we made it blind again we're gonna go one two three now I want to finish this part so I can show you how to start again with the new thread again we'll do three little ones those are baby seeds it's just like not grown up yet so this is for a beehive, bee, beehive comb all right now you go to the third again the second hole and you go over you go one more time three little seeds one two three and when you put your thread try not to make it too long it depends how easy it will get for you so when you finish your thread always make sure that wherever it makes blind that's where you finish up finish it up your thread don't finish it in the middle of the design because when you look at it later on it's not gonna show clean so you just go at the second time second part and that's where you do the blind and you pull it there you go see when it's in the corner always it's in the middle uh, between the two places that it's joining that's where you finish it you do not finish in the middle because it's not going to look good your design now 
I'm going to get new thread and I'm going to put it here, a needle, to the needle. And always leave your thread to the half and half, like halfway, the back part. Don't keep it too short like this, it will come out. And don't leave it too, too close because it might go into the edges that you, while you're working. So now we have to go new, we have to start. Again, you take the thread. Now I left it on purpose too, a little bigger for you. Otherwise I could have made another one. I want to put this in the back and you hold your finger. This goes always on top here. Put your needle into the hole. All right. Now push this away first. First as like I said the new thread that I'm putting it like you see here it goes in the back and I hold with my finger and I twist first let's keep this a little away so while I'm just doing the same way as we thread we do the lace we go like this before we pull it tight we keep this part a little bit bigger you see here and then this thread which is the one that we finished it you go with your needle you hold it and you pull it out which it makes it secure like you see it you pull it both of them separate so it won't be any extra thread hanging see now it's done now you can make it again secure you hold the thread if you want you don't have to but if just in case because you're learning now to make it secure you just hold from the back with the line of the seeds with the hole right here put your finger on it and with the needle you go through both both thread are on top of the needle and the back part again you do it just like this you work see now it's secure you take it out you don't want lumpy bumpy other things to show on your needle lace now you can put it behind that was one seed and this is the second seed and this is the third there you go and now we go we make it blind we join them together and now this thread that you see, if it's a little bit too much for you, it's going to bother you, just cut it. You'll be okay. Only make sure that every time that you work, you pull it. While you're pulling it, always hold tight this finger so you don't rip or scratch, uh, stretch the needle lace. So, this is my second. And this is my third. Okay, I will do a few more so you will see. Again, you can go from the, join them with the big hole. And I go three more. See, sometimes when it's big, you can just pull it a little bit from the one wherever it's tightening up. Just pull it so it makes smaller. You do not want like big, big seeds. You want the same seeds to be even. So it will look all proportion, nice and beautiful. Now we go again, we tighten it up, we join them together, we make it blind. Let's keep it always the same words blind so you know what I'm talking about. So this is the second again, and this is the third. And one more thing too, let me tell you, when you're joining them together, when you go the first seat, it's okay if it's a little smaller, as long as still it shows the whole, the middle part, make sure that you will make it, but make sure that you can see in the middle hole well, because later on we're going to go back into the middle. So, when we don't, it's okay the other ones, if it's too small or a little bit bigger, it shows it's okay. Even though we want to do all even and proportion, but sometimes the tie, when you tighten your thread, it's hard maybe to open it. So do not worry about that. So again let me do a couple more and then i'll do it until i get i reach to the ends because it's going to take time this is second and this is the third one more time tighten it up together join them together make it blind all right this will be the last one i'm gonna do so so i can go around and show you the second step all right so this will be 
the second and this is the third so this is it here now I'm gonna go by myself I will do this and you can continue to the same thing while you're doing when I reach here to the last I will show you when I reach here all right okay okay now I'm almost on my last and my thread is finished so I put the new thread again so I'll put this in the back I'll put this one side I go again from the hole this thread should be always on top of my needle the beginning and the back part goes again over and when you reach almost to the end you put your needle from the back and you bring it and you take it outside the ends of the last thread that we finished it and you tighten it up and pull it both of them separate so this way it won't be anything hanging or last okay all right now that i'm gonna work this la the the last thread that i put it just to secure it i'm gonna hold it together just like i did before and i'm gonna work this is one do you see over it because i put new thread it doesn't show the hole it's okay because it's the first one now the second one definitely we need a little hole so because later on we're gonna work with it this is second and this is the third which we're almost there and i'm sure everybody's doing good now now this is the last one again always go on top and here is one two every time it you see it's bigger pull it with your needle and go like this and tighten it up and this is will be the third all right now this is the last one so before we start we have to go to the end and we tighten it up there you go now this one is finished now we're gonna start the other steps so you will see how it's gonna look later on like a honeycomb all right now this is the middle part we start to work with the middle and then you can make it tight a little bit because from here to here it's gonna we don't need bigger we it's okay that if it's small the the seeds like this see now now i'm going to jumping to the next we did three seeds we are going into the middle one and that's what we're gonna do now this is the third one the second one i'm sorry in the middle one and we have to try to make make sure it will be even not too big not too small all right sometimes when it's really gets tighter like it's pulled you can just like hold it and stretch it with your finger so it rests because sometimes it gives and gets like you know it's forgiving like it will work okay so now we have to go not the first one to the second seed and here we go this is my third one two three this is how we have to go all around like i said always make sure it will be more or less even not too big not too small and then when you hold it you tighten it up make sure you put your hands always this part will be on top and this part goes from under and i'm sure i'm explaining you guys very very well it's slowly and very clearly that you won't have any hard time to do this this armenian lace it's such a beautiful artwork it is you will admire your own work so there you go you see every second of the seeds i go through and i even it up with my needle if it's the thread is tight or loose or whatever i control it there you go there you go not the first seed second seed we'll do this and i think now you got the idea and you continue do it and it's gonna look very beautiful see not the first one the second one 
Here we go. Let me do a couple more. There you go. All right. So this is the way you go all around. This part goes a little faster because it's just jumping from one to another. It doesn't have so much little, little works to be done. So anyway, this is the way it's going to look. And then when we arrived here, we're going to do the same thing with the seats. And you're going to see it will be just like here. Let me show you. See over here the way. Let's show this way. See when I did the first one, I went second part. So always it comes in the, let me show with the needle. See, this is like the seeds one, two, three. We went to the second one. We went to the second one. And then when we go all around again with the straight line like this, and when we go over back again, do you see that the middle part, it comes from middle to another middle, and that's how it shows the beehive. It doesn't look straight on top of each other. It looks one here, one there, one here, one there. And this is how it's going to look. Well, let me show you one more time after I finish this. I'm going to go one more two ends. And then um, you will know everything. Complete full. You don't have to worry about it. Okay. So this is how to do it. There you go. Make sure that it's not so big, tightened up. Okay, my thread is almost going to be finished, I think, at the end. All right. So this is, this part is the simple easy, just you have to make sure that it's all proportion, not big and not small. Always on the second, second seat, you go, you tighten it up. So anyway, now we have to finish this and I'm going to show you the next step and then I'll explain you exactly more how do you see it, how it will look like. There we go. And then this goes out. All right. Here we go. Few left. Okay, I guess we are almost at the end. I want to show you this. All right, we are now, we are at the end. I'm going to show you now, which I told you before, that do not worry about this little one, because we're going to join it, and we want the same length. So we go to the same place that we started, like the same little hole that beginning with it, second hole in a second seed and we do it again the same thing there you go now we join them together now this is like a complete now you see it now i'm gonna do the second line which is you would love to see it again we're gonna go from the back from the top again and we're gonna join them together and then we're gonna make it three now i want to tell you this in case if you see that it's kind of too big for you, the space, if you've done a little bigger by mistake, what you can do, you can make extra seeds. Now, this is one, for example. I don't have to do extra, but I'm going to show you. This is one little one. Make it kind of too tight, like make it almost like blind. And then do the other one like it's, it's like number one. And you pull it to the sides. Do you see it? How it's kind of like uh, closing it. It's making it like it helps you. I don't need to do that, but I just did it. So I will count this one one and this one two. I will count. And now this one I will count the three. In case, in case if your needle lace is getting tighter up, you can air it. Or if the seeds is too big, you want to fill it in. You can make very little small one like it's blinding. Now I'm going to join one more time here to the next. My thread is almost finished. Let me tighten up this. Okay, we have to open it. Let's bring this a little closer. And every time it's tangled, just leave it and the needle will loosen up the thread. It will help you not to get tangled. Now we go to the second seeds and we make it 
join them, blind them, and then you will do it three seeds again. One, two, three. And then we make, join them again, like make them blind. And then again, and one more time, let me show you how I did the first one, that when I told you, in case if it's too big, this is not big, but in case if it's too big, make it very small one and push it to the left make it like blind like making like you join them so what it does it gives you enough space to make more three of them so it won't have you don't have to make it big seeds to fill it so this is the way you do it you don't need to do if you don't have to if the your stitches over here you've done it good size you don't need it but if it's a little too big by mistake you did that's how you fill in with a little extra one. So now I will count that one, and I will count this two, and I will count this three. So there you go. Now I'm gonna join them again, take the thread out, because the needle out, because it's already small, and just make it tight. Like I always said, finish it up always wherever you join them because we do not want to see them in the middle now do you see how it looks when you are jumping every every third when you come when you go around this time it's going to be here in the middle and that's how your design it's going to look just like this beautiful all right now that i told you that always finish it up at the ends you know not in the middle of the thread now my thread is finished I'm gonna put new one if anybody didn't see it so they can start again so again we put it I'm gonna do a couple more stitches for you and then we will finish it up so this goes like this the thread goes from inside you pull the thread this way and this way now oh bigger it gets your needle point it's always good to fold it when you fold it it makes it easier in your hands to grab it to 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 be comfortable in your hands now this is the new thread that we put i'm gonna hold it again with my new thread and i'm gonna twist it and grab it and i'm gonna make it three new seeds that's two and this is the third one there you go when it gets tangled or anything just always the needle is good to help you so now you put again and you go over make it blind join them again three more one two and three again we join one more time I do it and I think you got the message. You know how to do it. Go under. Always the thread on top. The back part goes under. See, it became big. I have to pull it always. The, the needle is the, that's what's for. To pull it, make it smaller or bigger. Do not forget to tight, hold tight your needle lace when you pull the thread. All right, join them. And this will be your last one, our last. All right, that's one, two, and three. There we go. Join them together. And this way, you go all around. Like I said, in case if it, you feel a little tight, what you can do, just hold your uh, uh, lace, just very loose, softly, gently, pull it just very little what it does wherever we made blind it kind of loosen it it will loosen it up so it stays straight and flat so this is the last one well i want to thank you for watching i um, and i hope everybody will try to to do this work and enjoy it thank you again i appreciate so we're gonna do other needle laces so follow up and do not forget to subscribe thank you very much i'm going to show you new ones bye bye